Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to Map Making with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B. You are very, very welcome. And we're starting today by having a look at the short list of trees and bushes that I've decided to go with. I may add one or two later. I may even not use some later. You never know. Most of this is the low poly sets from uh, Pidelmo, including the low poly oak on the end there. I've got some uh, grass tufts there as well and the low poly bushes. Mostly Pidelmo's work, so. And then over here, we've got some of this vanilla ground filler that uh, we've only recently been given by uh, Colossal Order since the Park Life update. Right now, today we're going to be spending the first chunk of the show looking at uh, well, detailing the Lighthouse Island. Now, I'm going to go to a fair amount of detailing on this island. I know some of you don't like a lot of detailing. The difference being, I'm not expecting anybody to use this island for building. First of all, it's quite small. Um, oh, this ground, this ground filler, by the way, you've seen sometimes you click it down and it, it changes size. It's kind of like with your trees. When you plop down the tree, you don't know exactly how big the tree is going to be. And so, uh, yeah, it took me a while to get my head around this. Also, you may notice I've got prop and tree anarchy off and I've noticed that they're a bit too late. And so I switched this on a little bit later on when I've noticed I'm popping down some stuff and it's just disappearing just like there it was just disappearing and that was due to um, the anarchy being switched off so yes anyway um in terms of the detailing on this island, like i say nobody really is going to be doing much if any building on this island it's a little on the small side it is out of the 25 tiles now i have popped down a larger island that will be designed to be built on outside of the 25 tiles for those people that really want a little bit more build space um happy to use the the 81 tile mod etc because this is designed by design to be a small build map about four or five buildable tiles within the 25 tiles uh, kind of a map for for the detailers or just a small build the rural island kind of vibe to it so anyway that that's the intention but i know that there are people that like a little bit more space and so um hence i put the second island down which is say out of the 25 tiles which has got us about three ish tiles build space on it this particular island, there is a little bit of room if you really wanted to come out here and do something. But I figured that this is going to be just one of those bits that you go, oh, I like that island. I'm not going to touch it. Hopefully that's the plan anyway. So anyway, yes, um, putting down a lot of filler down on this island and then um, start. What? Oh, look, look, there you go. I noticed in a minute I go, why is this not working? Why is this not working? And then I'll stick the anarchy on and suddenly everything fits very nicely. Oh, sometimes I just zone out. Anyway, yes, yeah, so it's uh, starting to go a little bit uh, potty now with the filler. And the idea here was to build a path from the jetty all the way up to the lighthouse at the top. So I'm putting down some of this thicker um, land filler, ground filler, all the way along there. And just leaving a little patch in the middle, which is going to be bare for now. And then I'm going to use some of the lighter filler a bit later on and the grass tufts as well just to fill that in later on as we say so yeah just popping down the filler here and there and a lot of this is just going to be painting with the filler the whole episode isn't painting with filler. now we've got some of the, the thicker ground filler still got the anarchy off for wondering why is this not painting the underneath the jetty trying to paint under the jetty it's not painting under the jetty i don't know what's going on and then inspiration will strike in a minute but anyway yes yeah, some of this thicker filler there filling in the gaps and then i'll come along and put down some trees a bit later on once we've got the the, the ground cover sorted it's all pretty good uh, I'm really quite pleased with the way that this island's pop, uh, come out. Now, those of uh, regular watchers will know that we had a little bit of water glitching uh, along just in front of the lighthouse there. Um, it is something that happens. And if you look closely, um, I'm not sure if you get a chance to see in this episode, you'll notice that the glitching is still there. However, before the end of show cinematics, I actually managed to get out there and fix the glitching. I just used the smoothing tool just to take out a little bit of the steepness uh, where the rocks were, and uh, and it just it just smoothly filled in. It was very nice indeed. Very happy with that. 
So yes, right. So anyway, how are you guys doing? Are you doing any city um, city builds, any map builds at the moment? Um, this particular one, I mean, I've now been. This is episode six. So this is only about three hours into the build, and what have I done so far? A um, uh, couple of island shapes, roughly. There's a lot of work going into this one, by the way. The um, there will be, I keep saying this, but there's a lot of people will just be joining me for the first time each show. There's going to be two versions of this map. Um, this is uh, at the high tide level, and this is going to be the standard version for those of you that just want to uh, want to build on, a, on an island and so. Uh, but there, I will also be doing a version for the TPB's um, uh, Tides mod, and uh, the Tides mod is, is a lovely thing. And I'm going to be doing a lot of work below the water level, trying to get this looking just right for uh, for that. Uh, I've got a few ideas for uh, little treats for detailing. Once again, a bit later on in a later episode, I reckon this is going to be several weeks in the build. Um, I'm actually literally doing oh, all the work that you see is being done on camera. Um, I only get about an hour's worth of time a week for building of this uh, on on this particular map build because obviously I do a lot and lot of other video work as well. How's that? That uh, path is looking pretty reasonable now. Now I'll put some bushes down, bushes just to bush things. Now I'm putting the trees and the bushes into the crevices where the rocks are, and um, just to make it look like there's uh, foliage growing where the water's running down between the rocks, and just to give it a little bit more life. So anyways, in here as well, and then I'll pop a few into that crevice there as well. And then down here where the water would run away down here, you definitely see water coming down here. So there's a lot of greenery going on down there as well. And all good. You know, like the uh, barest areas will be, which has been trodden down by human along the, uh, the footpath going to the lighthouse. I'm just filling some spaces here. All working with the same tree at the moment. I come back with a slightly different tree now, the uh, split trunk tree from that uh, Pidelmo Ultra Low Poly range. And these are slightly larger trees, and I had a look there just to make sure it did it look okay, sat in the rock like it did. And uh, we'll go back and uh, have a look at these things a little bit later on. I'm not spending too much time worrying about every single exact tree right now. And then once uh, once the build is finished, or nearing finished, I'll then go back and have a look in closer detail and see if anything just looks stupid or dumb. Now bigger trees, once again, bigger trees. This is the regular tree from the P. Delmo Low Poly where it range now. Yeah, so that's that's the plan is to um, just to get a rough feel for it right now, and then go back later on and have a look at the the actual detail. And if I'm not happy with it, I'll leave it. And if there's anything I don't really like the look of, that's when I'll start tweaking the individual trees and go, no, it can go an inch to the left or two inches to the right, and so forth. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Put a couple more trees down in the uh, the gorge there. So yeah, I'm still working with the uh, the temporary map name of Duvo. It might stay as Duvo. It's kind of growing on me as the weeks go by. Uh, Duvo, there's now the grass patches there, just filling in a few of these these patchy areas, looking a bit bland. Yeah, Duvo. Uh, du being um, two in French and uh, Nouveau being new in French, and this is my second map, and it's a new map, so therefore Duvo, new map number two. And then come over here and just like picking out uh, the exact the exact plant from my palette over there that I want to uh, work with next. Yeah, that's good. So anyway, you're working with that. I've got a kind of idea. Oh, I seem to have... Uh, ah, I painted... Uh, I've, I've managed to skip a little bit of recording there. I'm sorry about that. You missed me putting down more plants, but there we are. Am I happy with all that? Following the path up to the lighthouse. Does that all work? I think I probably could do with a few more plants in that area down there. So let's grab that one. Uh, if I can grab it, to grab it, grab it. There we are. And then we'll just put a few down here just to give a little bit more color to the entrance of the lighthouse. It's all cool. So yes, um, where were we? Where was we talking? Oh yeah, we'll put down some more around the beaches here as well. Yes, I've got a, a working title in my head for what I'm probably, as the, the water glitching there. Ah, you did get a chance to see it after all. Yeah, I've got an idea for what I might end up calling the, the islands, but if you've got any ideas, oh no, the, the whole map, if you've got any ideas yourself, then of course you can stick them in the comments and I will read them. Now here's something that's, uh, I, I made a big, big little change here. See the way the water's running around this island here. I figured that would carry some of that sand around and create a bit of a sandbar. 
So um, hence uh, why what I'm doing here is I'm just dragging a little bit of um, the land out. This tree will be a little bit trickier than I wanted it to, but it is quite deep water there. And so once again, I'll probably come back once again later on and tidy this whole area up uh, a lot more. But yes, smoothing it out, just eking it out a little bit. That sandbar is going to, I think, just makes that island look a little bit more realistic because of the water flow kind of makes a bit of sense that it does actually have a little uh, tail out there can I get that to look right it takes a little bit of tweaking you have to wait for the water to level out still doesn't look right it looks a bit square doesn't it so um, once again get the uh, get the level tool out and fill in the gaps that looks not too bad just drag that out a little bit more Yes, it's just uh, just tweaking and tweaking and tweaking. It doesn't look too bad at the moment. We, I will come back and fix that a little bit more. Now, anyway, yes, I've um, got a little bit more filler trees here because I noticed looking down from this side of the island looking up, it kind of looked like the trees just suddenly started. So I wanted to add a little bit more foliage up there so it looks like it's... Uh, it's actually uh, a live area you can't actually see the ground filler from when you down low like that so I wanted a few more trees up there just to make it jump and once again these trees I know they are um, mostly hidden there but they just look like um, foliage just like growing out of the cracks and the crevices so uh, it's kind of cheating it is kind of cheating but I think it just once again makes those cracks look just a little bit more alive and like there actually really is water going down there and causing stuff to grow mosses and and shrubberies of course shrubberies everybody loves a shrubbery don't we don't we yes <laughs> so anyway yes if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please make sure you do i'm still growing quite rapidly i'm hoping i, I think the target is if i can get to and um, given i'm 4,000 subscribers at the moment if i can get to 10,000 subscribers by christmas do you think that's possible do you think that's possible? I, I would love that. I would love that. I mean, just a year ago, I was a few hundred subscribers. And now I'm talking about maybe having 10,000 by Christmas. Maybe having 20,000 by next summer. I mean, I'm pushing pushing it a bit, but it'd be great. Anyway, that's enough on that island. Now we're just going to come back and do some more of this mundane rock plonking um, on the mainland and the, the main hill area. The, I mean, we'll call it a mountain. It's going it's, it's to be shy of a mountain the main the main hilly area and I want to get this looking um, rocky once again this is going to be like the base level of of the rocks and then I'll go back and tweak and tinker with it just to make it look um, make it look how I want it to later but at the moment it's just get down a base level get the coverage going on on the mountain or the hill whichever you want to call it um, so that it kind of looks you know solid and I know it's not looking, it won't be looking right just yet, but that's fine because we will come back and we will fix this. We will. You and I together. We'll spend a good, a good half hour in another couple of Mondays. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Maybe? Possibly? Also, I want to go back and I need to have a look at these, uh, these road, um, I, the roadway that leads into the island. I want to come back and have a look at that and put in some, a uh, couple of little custom bridges down there just to sort of like, make it look a little bit uh, smarter bring the road into the island and once the road comes into the island we'll have a much better idea of how the foliage and the design of the island will well it'll feel a lot more real and then of course we've got to also think about that that third that uh, bigger island off out the 25 i'm telling you about oh i think we i don't want to know about that one well i mean we definitely need it we're going to finish with some cinematics of the work we've done today. Pretty much, this island is pretty much done now. We may come back and do some minor tweaks to it. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, if there's anything missing. Um, I mean, I'd like a little bit of variation in the heights in the trees. But I couldn't find a tree that was going to work particularly well with the ones I'd selected. So anyway. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. Join me Monday to Saturday for What's Map, where I review your map builds. Hopefully find you the right one for your next city build. Loads of tutorials, lots of playthroughs, let's plays. There's no glitchy water there. Look, I fixed it. Ba boom I'm so clever. <laughs> anyway, you guys are absolutely the best, the best subscribers out there. I couldn't ask for a 
Grayler bunch, apart from that guy. You guy there at the back, yeah, you can, you can leave. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you very, very soon.